Okay, we've had some questions about how come FRAP slows down when you try to record stuff, so we're going to throw this out there. This applies both to Windows 7 and Windows 8, some of it, but uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to launch FRAPs. And there's some settings here on the main screen that says about minimized and blah, blah, blah. On Windows 7, you can turn on the monitor aerial desktop. It'll go ahead and record your desktop and all that. Of course, Windows 8, like our other video, it does not do it. Uh, the benchmarking screen controls, there's your overlay control on the right where the yellow or red letters appear while you're doing capturing. Or you can turn it off by clicking on the hide overlay. The other thing I want to talk about is in the movies where you're saving them to. Now to save our SSD, because SSDs don't have the same lifespan as regular hard drives, I don't keep it on the SSD. I have a Western Digital 1 terabyte black caviar where I have a Fraps directory and put that to movies and then you click on OK and now it's changed it there. I also change where the screenshots are at. I change it to the same place just for sanity to keep know where I have it at even though screenshots don't aren't hard on your hard drive. It just keeps them in the same location. I don't even have a I just keep it in the movies, movies directory so we'll leave it there. So that's configuring Fraps basically. Um, You'll have some configurations here you won't have because this is a registered version. Unless you pay for it, you're not going to be able to save it in other formats and stuff. But uh, just take a look at what you can do for screenshots. It's usually BMP format. Okay, so that's how to configure FRAPS. You can do full size, half size, frame rates over here and everything to go ahead and make it work a little bit better for you and everything. You can experiment with that. So to test FRAPS and everything, uh, we can run this with a game. But we're going to go ahead and I'm going to launch Steam. Okay, but I'm going to skip to that here, and I'm going to bring up a game, and the game, when we launch, I'm putting it in Windows mode so I can take a look at something. I'm going to go ahead and move it off to the side here, Crisis 2, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Control-Alt-Delete, which brings up Task Manager. I'm going to go look at this here. I'm going to go look at Crisis 32-bit. I'm going to say more details, and there's Crisis 32-bit there. So if you look over here, you'll have tabs, and if you go to here, you can see what's going on with your CPU and all that kind of stuff and everything. But what we're really interested in is besides the cores and how many we're using down here and everything, we're going to go up to the uh, details, and we're going to go look at Crisis 2. We're going to right-click on it, and I'm going to go down to where it says Set Affinity, and I'm going to make sure that all these processors are, are being taken care of because it's very important that they uh, are all being used. And that will make sure that your game continues to run under full power of your processor while you're running. And that will probably help you when the slowdown of your FRAPS because now FRAPS is running and your processor is using all of your system available to, to run pretty quick. should work.